To prove the quadratic formula, we must write the basis of all quadratic equations, and that is a times x squared plus b times x plus c, and that's the general form for a quadratic equation, where a, b, and c equal some real number. It could be negative 3, negative squared 2, or pi squared, anything of that matter. Now to solve for the quadratic equation, we must set this equal to something so we can do some algebraic manipulation. So what can we, so what can we set this equal to? Well, the quadratic equation itself just tells us where this thing equals zero, right? The whole point of the quadratic equation is to find the roots of a graph. And that happens when your equation equals zero, when the y value equals zero. So we know that this, we need to solve for when this equals zero. All right, now let's solve for x over here so we can find out what x value will make our y value equal zero. Now, let's get this a term out of here because it's making this whole term messy. Without it, it'll be much easier. So we can just divide that by a and divide this side by a also. So that will just cancel out the a's. So it'll be a squared, x squared, sorry, plus b x over a plus c over a. And that equals zero because zero divided by a number that isn't zero is zero. Now, what we do here? Well, we can get this c over a to the right side. So minus c over a and then minus c over a on the right side also. So that will get this out of here. So it'll be x squared plus b x over a equals zero minus c over a is just negative c over a. Now, this next part is kind of tricky. What we have to do is we have to find a perfect square for this term because then we can factor it out and make it a lot simpler to solve. Now, how do we find the perfect square? Well, we take this middle coefficient b over x and then divide it by 2 and then square it. Well, let me show you guys here. So b over a, we divide that by 2. That's the same thing as multiplying by 1 half. So this is b over 2a right here. And then we square the whole thing. So we have to add that over here, and this will make a perfect square. I'll show you guys what this does in a minute. And because we added this to the left side, we have to add it to the right side also. Plus b over 2a squared. And this can be factored out into x plus b over 2a squared. And this will equal just this. Now I want to simplify this even further so we don't have two terms. So to do that, let me just expand this power of 2. So it equal negative c over a plus b squared over 4a squared. I'll just distribute the power of 2 to the b and to all the numbers below. Now, to add fractions, we have to have the same denominator. So to make this have the denominator of 4a, we have to multiply the top and bottom by 4a. So multiply the top by 4a, you will get 4ac over, multiply the bottom by 4a, you will get 4a squared. And don't forget that is negative. And that plus b squared over 4a squared, and you just add these together, b squared plus negative 4ac, so it was just b squared minus 4ac, all over 4a squared. And now this equals to this term over here. We haven't changed anything over here. We just simplified this path. So it will equal x plus b over 2a squared. Now, to simplify this even further, we have to take the square root of this side and the square root of this side, because that will get rid of this power 2. So we just take the square root and the square root of this side also. So this will cancel out that power 2. So you're left with x plus b over 2a. But watch out on this side. Because when you take the square root of something on the other side, this becomes a plus or minus. Because we know that the square of negative 6 equals 36. But also, 
the square of positive 6 also equals 36. So there can be two possible values, a negative value and a positive value. So that equals the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 4a squared. Now we can simplify this right side a little more if we just distribute this square root sign, if you, if you think about it that way. You can distribute it by making it over the numerator and the denominator. So this will be equal to, let me just move the equal sign, plus or minus the square root of, oh, whoops, too big, the square root of b squared minus 4ac over the square root of 4 is 2, and the square root of a, uh, the square root of a squared is a. Now, we're almost done. We just need to get rid of this b over 2 weight over here, and then we will have solved for x. So, if we just minus b over 2a, and do that from the right side also, we will get x is equal to plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a minus b over 2a. Because these two terms have the same denominator, we can just add them up. So x will equal to plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac plus negative b. So we just add these two terms above. So this will be negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And that's a quadratic formula.